We're gonna paint the squirrel with watercolor. For our member of EnjoyingArt.com, I'm looking forward to seeing you in our fun and relaxing Friday painting together. If this is your first time to our channel, it's all about making art easy with relaxation. Push like, share, subscribe, and turn on notification. First, let me tell you the brushes that I'm using. I only use two brushes. One is a fry brush, it's gold hair. Okay. Take care of the brush, just use the two fingers, right? Just softly massage it every time before you start using it. Okay. Now, the hair very soft, also remove all the bubble, all the air inside the brush here. Now the brush is ready to use. That's very sharp over here, very organized. And this is the calligraphy brush. The calligraphy brush can use for medium and small shapes. And the tip is very sharp, so it's very easy to control. Last week we already did the charcoal drawing of the scroll. Now I'm going to mix something really light. Just the yellow and the blue color. Maybe add a little red, so I have a little bit more like a gray color. So, or if you feel more comfortable with uh, drawing with graphite, you can use the graphite. Okay. Let's take a look. I'm using my hand. Take a look at that. The tail over here, the the front of the squirrel over there, and then there will be somewhere over here. So here you go. Now this is the bottom. Now it's the head over here. Maybe the head a little bit coming in a little bit, like that. All right, just looking for the rough location and allow yourself to make changes. Uh, not just put it on and move on to the next step. You always think about that. Um, so actually, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. So I'm going to move the face out a little bit like that. And take a look that if this is the head and this is the tail and this is will be the back, right? The back will be here. And take a look, there's a curved line coming up. And this, the head, it just look like a, a round shape, like almost like, um, um, what do you call the shape is more like a, a oval shape, a little bit tippy oval shape. Yeah, ellipse. Okay, like that, and then there's the the head over here, like that. So that is the arm, like that. Here you go, and then the body. That's good, and then coming down a little bit. Here you go. Now this is the drawing of the scroll. So spend enough time. Uh, if you're following this uh, video and not actually with us at this moment, uh, make sure you pause the video after you do one step and one step at a time. Okay. Don't rush it. Okay. Like that. And there's a scroll. Now we got that. Okay, right over here. Okay, like that. And coming up. Okay, so this is the composition. I think it's the position is pretty good. And we also talk about that in this whole area over here, it's more like a light brown color. So the brown color would be red, yellow, and a little blue color, right? So that would be I'm going to also put the color over here, just a little bit light brown color, right over here, like that. And this whole area can be a little bit uh, toned it down a little bit color before that. So if you're happy with this composition, uh, we can start our real painting. And but let me give you a little time to catch up on this step, first step, before we move on, okay? okay. 
Now I'm gonna, before I, I leave this, I'm gonna soften the edge a little bit. It's okay, the, the color is pretty light. So it's not gonna be any problem. Now we start the painting process. We first going to wet the paper. Just use the water. And lots of people ask me is, do you always wet your paper before you apply the color? And the answer will be no, I don't wet the paper first, always. And there's a, perp there's a reason to wet the paper first. For example, I am going to have a very soft snow effect in the background. That's why I wet the paper. I'm gonna let it is moisture the paper for a, a few seconds. And then I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna take a look. And now it's just totally a loss of water. Uh, you can wait a few minutes. And now I'm gonna take the time to mix the gray color. I'm gonna take the blue color, right? Take the red color and the blue color together. And now it's too red. Get a little bit winds of blue green shade. Okay, like that. That's just pretty good. Okay, now see that? This is color, it's good, right? Now what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna just put it on. Right now it's a lot of water, really wet. Whatever you put on, it's gonna be very softly spread into the paper surface. Okay, I'm gonna put it over here like that. Okay, something like that is simple. And we may have to help to spread the color a little bit. So put it like that. Okay, like this, it's good. And in the front over here, I'm gonna put a little bit darker color right at the, this area in the tail and also under over here. Okay, like that. And still leave some area white. And on this side, I have a little bit more orange, a little brownish feeling. So I'm gonna add a little bit yellow and the red color, okay? Just over here, just use the side brush like that. It's good, like that. Yep. If you're too dark, you want to make it a little bit lighter, okay? Like that, here you go. Now, I already applied the color, but I want it to be a little bit softer in the back over here. So I'm gonna use the uh, this flat brush, and I'm gonna start do a little lifting. So I'm gonna lift it, make it a little bit softer. Right now, it's a little bit too uh, much, so I'm gonna make it just soften that a little bit. Okay, like that. It's good, like that, okay. You can go ahead to apply your uh, background color. So just use the, now use the water, just spread the color a little bit, make it a little bit more, a little bit softer. And and then the front over here, I'm going to start doing some lifting very soon. I'm gonna let it um, dry a little bit before I'm gonna start the lifting. Okay, and the background over there, I'm gonna start doing a little bit of lifting. I just spread the color a little bit. Now I just let go all the wet. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just lift up some color. For example, I'm gonna break this shape into two. Okay, like that. And over here, I'm gonna break that shape a little bit. Okay, it looked like a uh, some snow shadow. It looks very soft. Okay, now we're ready to do a little lifting for the front over here. I'm gonna just lift it up, see that? Now I'm gonna create a little light shape. Do you remember last week we are using eraser to lift up the charcoal? And now we just use the uh, fry brush to lift up the paint. And I'm gonna leave a little light shape over here. 
Actually, our painting and drawing process very much similar across all different mediums. Okay, it is is it's the same thinking, the same uh, process, which is live up to create a contrast like that. And we're gonna give a little bit more details a little bit later. Okay, like that. We're gonna come back. Just keep lifting. Okay, that's good. Like that. Let's see, you see the light shape. The light shape is using the lifting. And when you do the charcoal drawing, and the light shape using the eraser. Now I'm gonna work into the shape of the squirrel. I'm using this click brush. And I'm gonna mix a, a little brown color and just get the red, get the yellow, right? And become the orange color. And mix with the Windsor uh, blue color and that is a little gray color. So if I want a little bit more brown, get a little bit more yellow and red, right? It's very simple. Okay, like that. I'm gonna start from the tail. How about that? I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Start on the tail over here. Okay, like that. I'm gonna just set the color there. Add a little bit more water. Set it here. That is the back over here. Uh, don't worry about the hair for now. It's just gonna set some color over there. And have somewhere have a little bit more blue. And just add a little bit blue color, a little bit red. Oh, that's too much. I'm gonna get a little bit blue again. Okay, here you go. Now I'm gonna have this gray color. And here you go, right over here. Coming up, connected, like that. Let's see. Let's get that color in. And I'm going to start painting into the squirrel body. I'm gonna get a little bit more water, make it a little bit lighter. You see that? You need to have some color in the entire body is not white, right? Put it over there. And here you go. Looking for what is just the color tone for the entire area. I'm also gonna paint it around and showing the little ice snow at the front, like that. Okay, that's good. Like that. So here you go. Now the the uh the body, the lower part over here have a little bit more yellow. So I put a little yellow color over here. Now I'm gonna keep going with this. This probably go a little bit higher, like that. Okay, that's good. Now coming into the head, right? The head have a little bit more brown. Just mix the color as you paint. Have a little bit more yellow and the uh, red color. I'm gonna put it right over here. Look at the face. Now I'm gonna painting around the uh, the eye. I'm gonna just paint around the eye right over here like this. Here you go. And like this. You go on the top over here, you see a little bit uh, more like a brown color. Okay, let's see. Let's put this color in before we add or change the color. Okay, like right here. I'm gonna add a little bit blue and red color and you can see this color would look like darker, like that. Okay. Hang on, hang in there. Not yet, okay? And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just clean the brush, softly have those color blend together because that is just a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna just use the water to softly connect that together. And now come to the arm. I'm gonna have a little bit darker, a little bit blue. Now here you go. Have those color connect that at the front over here. Right there, it's here you go. And the other side of the arm too. And we're gonna do a little bit more uh, separation a little bit later. Now I'm gonna have this color, a little bit more blue, a little bit more red, right? Like this, a little bit more red, that's too much red. Okay, like this. Now I'm gonna 
have this a little bit darker color, put it right here. You see that this area a little bit darker. And I also going to have a little bit red and the a little bit more like a brown color and put it right in here. And this see let this spread. This see how it look like. There's quite a bit of work before we come into yay, we are there. We're not there yet. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open up the hair of the clickly brush. Now I'm going to just get a little gray color. Now guy, watch. I'm going to just coming over here. And just twisting the brush. So don't let it to just go straight. Like a, when you're moving it, it twist it a little bit and let the hair a little bit more random. Okay, like that. Here you go. Like that. Here. I'm just kind of moving taking the color already there to move it like that. Okay, on this side, you go. You can twist the, the brush here. You go. Like that, and coming up. Okay, now on the back over here, Coming up a little bit like that is make it look really soft. Okay, a little like that on the body. The body, I'm gonna have a little bit hair coming up like that too. Uh, no worry, if you miss the, the timing, we can do that, uh, add that a little bit later. No worry. And the body over here, I think I can move it a little bit lower. I'm going to push the color a little bit lower over here. That's good. On this side, a little bit softer. I'm just going to use the water to make this a little bit softer. And we just create the foundation of what we are going to do the next step. And the same time, I'm going to have a little bit brownish color. Yeah, a little bit brownish color, mix the yellow and the red together, make it more like warmer, right? I'm gonna put in the space for the ear. You see that? Just put it right here. And then on this side, a little bit ear, just showing a little bit of it. Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna add more contrast into the scroll. So I'm gonna take a look at, on the top over here, I'm gonna have a little bit more brown color. Just take the yellow color and the red color. That's all right. This is very bright. And if you don't want that bright, you can mix a little bit blue color with it. So now I'm gonna open up the hair. I'm gonna open it up like this. And I'm gonna put a little color here. Okay. And have that even coming from the outside. A little bit like that right here. Okay. Make it a little bit darker. Like that and then coming over here coming down and I'm gonna have a, a few here like that okay that's good now I have a little bit blue color mixed into it is if you have problem uh, mixing the color really quickly you should go into the watercolor basics library in the learning center to do a few more practice and you'll be fine and the logic of mixing color uh, for our process is very very simple because we only use the three primary colors. Okay, I'm gonna open up the brush. I'm gonna have it a little bit more. Have this spread a little bit like that, and a little bit more like that. That's good, right? Make sure I have enough color in here. Okay, now I'm gonna coming into the um. The back over here, behind the back, I'm gonna mix a little bit darker color. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit darker color, a little bit more blue with the red. Now here you go. Now you can have the color pretty dark. So I'm gonna put it right here. You see that? So a little bit darker color. Yeah, take a look now. I have a lot more contrast. I'm gonna put the color over here. Come back to uh, spread it and change it a little bit later. So now I'm gonna come to the top over here, have a little bit more yellow color with this. 
and a little bit yellow, a little bit red, right? Have that color, maybe a little bit more yellow. I guess that open the the hair a little bit. Now here you go. This supposed to be have a little bit more of this color. Okay, open it up like this, and that's that's good. All right. Now I'm gonna have it have the color spread a little bit, and let's take a look like that. That's good. Now I'm gonna come a little bit lower over here. We can see the color change. Screen your eye, you can see the contrast, the dark and light values much better. Now I'm gonna coming over here to the arm, right, like that. And if you want the brush a little bit drier, just have a paper towel and open it up like this. Let go most of the paint. Here you go. Now it's a lot more drier. Like that. Here you go. Like that. That's good. So I already have the feeling of the hair. Now on this side over here. And we're going to add more details a little bit later. But right now we try to fix the color and to the value and the temperature that we want. Okay, now I'm going to come into uh, the brown color, makes it a little bit more yellow and red. Oh, wow, that's very intense. So I'm going to take a little bit Windsor blue color, make it coming down a little bit. This is, I think this color is good. I'm going to put it right over here. Maybe a little bit yellow. So here you go. That's good. Like that. All right. Now I'm gonna have down over here. Have a little bit more blue of this color. Okay. Here you go. Coming over here. I'm gonna make that a little bit uh, dimmer. Now the front over here, you see a little bit lighter color on the front and we screen your eye, we can see a little bit more yellow, like a little bit like a warm gray color like that. I'm going to put that color right here. Um, when you are trying to capture the details, it's very important to see and compare um, the light and dark color on the body because is the squirrel is rounded, the body is not flat. And you to make sure that you pay attention to where is the shadow. Okay, a little bit darker area. Now I'm going to come back to the tail over here, spread the color a little bit, and open it up. That's good, like that. And we're going to do the lifting to create another uh, layer uh, of the hair a little bit later. Like that. And the tail over here, I'm going to have some color, a little bit darker, like a little bit, a little bit more color over here. And it's coming up. That's good. All right. Now I'm going to come to the head. And the second time, I'm going to get a little blue color and mix it into this brown color. A little bit more yellow. Here you go. I'm going to take a look at that's definitely a little bit too much green. So it makes it a little red. Okay. Here you go. Like that. A little bit more blue. Okay. Here you go. Coming here, coming to the head, I'm going to make it a little bit darker, less the water to spread the color. That. Okay. That's good. Now I'm going to use the water to subtly rend the color. And also in the eye over here, it's not just white. So I'm going to use this color, also put it into the light shape around the eye. 
And now I'm gonna put a little brighter color, which is a little orange color, right? Like that, a little bit. We don't need a lot of color, just a little bit more like that. Here you go. Now it's much better. Now the color a lot more. And now I'm going to add a little bit this brown color in the ear. I'm going to put it this inside the ear a little bit darker, right? And coming over here and put a little shape over there. Yes, seeing the anatomy of the uh, ear. Now I'm going to add a little bit darker color. I'm going to even put a little darker color in the middle of that. And I'm going to just tap on it. And when it's just wet into wet, it can spread a little bit. Okay, at this point, I'm also going to add a little bit dark color on the nose, like that. And a little bit dark color over here. And then take a look at that. A little bit dark color over here too. Um, now this is good. We're going to come back to the scroll a little bit later. I'm going to just spread the color a little bit, make it a little bit softer. And we're going to come back to do some lifting to create a a illusion for other fur. Okay. All right. I'm going to paint a little colors onto the snow. I'm going to have a little bit more blue color mixed into this brown color. It will look more as a gray color. Okay, here you go. I'm going to come back over here. I want you to take a look at the the way we use the the calligraphy brush. And the tip of the brush is actually taking the color a little bit darker, right? So I'm going to just put it like this, facing to the area that is supposed to be darker. And the outside is supposed to be a little bit lighter. So I'm going to try that again. I'm going to just take the color a little bit darker like that. And there you go. You see that the top is just a little bit uh, lighter like that okay a little bit and also in here it can be a little bit uh, darker underneath the this catch the shadow okay like that here you go now we're showing that the uh, when the objects in front of us closer we can see that a little bit more clear, a little bit more contrast, like over here. Here you go. And uh, underneath over here, have some cast the shadow. Okay, like that. It just put it on like this and drag a little bit and move that. Okay, here you go. Okay, that's good. Um, we may not really want to have so much uh, all kind of isolated. So I'm going to group some of them together. Like at this, I want to group it together a little bit more. That to look a little bit better. Now I'm going to come to the front over here. I'm going to have um, a little bit brown color and put it right over here. It's just, just the group of the this area the, the this ground is look a, a lot more uh like a little bit warmer color i'm going to put that little color over here and at this point if you want you can drop in a little color so somewhere a little bit softer and then later we're going to add some um a little bit clear, a little bit later. So right now, like say, for example, I just tap tap and I make a little bit different color like this. So you don't want to have everything so clear. And so at this point, I just add a little bit softer color like that. Now I'm going to start doing some adjustment and lifting. So now it's just we shape the brush 
make it look like this very sharp okay here you go now what I'm gonna do take a look over here I'm gonna just put it over here you see that now I actually have the light here on the top so I can create the illusion of the hair and above um, the darker color here if you need to reshape it just use two finger and you can reshape it so before this step you make sure I have enough colors right enough dark color in order to do the lifting so that the shape will look enough contrast okay that's good I'm gonna start putting some hair soft hair on the top then we'll just use the calligraphy brush and take a little bit let's take this color first on the top of the, the head and open it up a little bit now here you go and put a few hair coming up like this if there's too much you can just softly make a little blur and it also represent look like the soft hair when you have a little bit blue and the neck I'm gonna have also have this gray color that's good like that and the back there you go have a little bit more the warmer color there you go that that's good now we can add some color into it and here we go a little bit gray color here you go and add a little bit details a soft detail Okay, now I'm going to add some, uh, start working into, uh, I'm going to form the E a little bit. I'm going to just have the brown color coming here. I'm going to make it a little bit longer on the ear. Here you go, like that. Here you go, that's good. And then the other ear. I'm gonna have a little bit gray color on this side. It's showing there's the, the whole ear. Okay, now this is good. Now I'm gonna come in here to give a little suggestions to the arm. I'm gonna have a little bit darker color. Now here you go right here and then the finger and the other finger on the other arm like that here you go now we get closer and closer into the small details here you go now, a little detail over here and have a, a little big details for the hair That's good. Like that. Okay. Now on the back over there, I'm gonna have a little bit light brown color. I'm gonna add a little texture back over here. Uh, you add the detail, but you also want to add the feeling that the hairs are very soft. So be careful that you have a lot of hair, but it looks like it's really hard here but that would be a wrong feeling for a scroll okay 
All right, underneath here, it has a little bit warmer color. So it's showing actually different dimensions here. I get this color also reflected by the seed on the ground. Like that. Okay, now we're gonna walk into um, the head. I'm gonna have a little bit more texture. Just open up the brush, have a little bit more texture like that. I'm gonna just just use the side of the brush. Let's add some texture onto it like that. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna do that something on the on the body as well. Some dry brush. Okay. And here we're gonna make some, uh, I don't want it to be that smooth. I'm gonna break the hair a little bit, break the edge, open up a little bit. Somewhere over here like that. Break it a little bit. Okay, that's fine. So it's a little bit off. Okay. Now we're going to paint into, uh, I'm going to have this a little bit softer. So they're showing also uh, a soft uh, turn around at the bottom here. That's good. Now I'm going to put the, some foundation color into the eye. Okay, and the tip over here and still Put the, the brown color. There you go, like that. Okay, go around over here. And I'm gonna put a little bit gray color inside the eye. So I'm gonna work on the highlight first. Now here you go, right here. Make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so this is the foundation. And take a look at the nose, the mouth. Okay, here you go. Now at this point, I'm also gonna add the, um, add some a seed. I'm gonna have this side a little bit softer. Just use the brush, brush make that a little bit softer. At the front over here, I'm gonna add some uh, brighter color. I'm gonna have a little bit brown color. Here you go. I'm gonna have this color put over here, for example. Just tap on it. A little bit different colors. So. A little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna add some other color too. I'm gonna add a little bit yellow. Here you go, a little yellow color. Okay, right, that's good. A little bit better. And also those color, also seeing that and on, on the back over here, all over the places. Okay. 
Uh, now the tail over there, I'm gonna add a little color to create a little bit more contrast, just a little bit over here. Just add a little bit over there. You go. That's good. A little bit darker. I can have that a little bit softer. There's a little soft color there in between. Okay. Now I'm gonna paint inside the eye. It's already dry. Now I'm gonna mix some really dark color. It's always step by step. You don't want to do everything at once. There's also important timing for different places. Now here you go. I'm gonna look in inside the eye here. So first ping around that. Look before you do it, analyze it. Okay, like that. And then going around and the lower part like that. Now you go. Okay. Now I'm gonna add a little bit lighter. First, see a little bit underneath over here. And then the top over there, I'm gonna have a little bit darker. Now I'm gonna mix the color, make something even darker than that. Now. I'm back over here. Like that. Now I'm going to have a little brown color. Connect that to the corner over here. A little bit warmer color for the tip of the ear. Now we're going to add the uh, uh, some hair. So now I'm gonna just pick this dark color. Now let's take a look. And on this side, just try it to see how what's the motion. Okay, like this. Here you go. That's good. Okay. And the top over here. This brush can, if you control it well, you can create very, very thin line. 